Good afternoon, folks. Uh, I became interested in this topic of, of what grant reviewers do, what they like and what they don't like some years ago uh, when I became aware that uh, there was very little written about you know, who these people are, what their perspectives are, and the, the whole process by which proposals are evaluated and ranked and scored uh, uh, was, was not really well examined uh, in, in the literature. So um, uh, what I did was to interview uh, 16 senior uh, grant reviewers and then look at the answer. I asked them all the same questions, looked at their answers, and wrote a paper that was, was received quite well. Uh, so from the perspective of research administrators, uh, my objectives with presenting this topic are as follows. Number one, I want to provide you insights into the perspectives of grant reviewers. What are their needs? What are their expectations? Who they are? Their likes and dislikes? And the recommendations that they make to grant writers? Most grant reviewers are themselves good grant writers, and that's how they got themselves appointed to review panels. Uh, but my, my stronger interest is to help research administrators who have proposal development responsibilities to work more closely with PIs and to coach them to write more effective documents. Because the style of writing that grant reviewers like is not the same style of writing that editors of professional journals like. And particularly for new investigators, young faculty, uh, teaching them, coaching them to how to adjust their writing style to appeal to an entirely different kind of audience than they're accustomed to when they write an academic or technical paper. So let's get started with taking a look at uh, what we can determine about the uh, uh, overview of the grant review processes at NSF and NIH. Uh, we're going to be looking at proposal volumes, uh, the numbers of reviewers, and it's kind of impressive. Literally tens of thousands of people are engaged in this process each year. Uh, take a look at the awards and success rates, and then a quick overview of the actual review process. Then after we do that, I think we're ready to uh, kind of take a look at what I found when I did the, the research uh, with the reviewers, what their expectations are, how they would characterize a strong proposal, and the third topic that you see on, on the, um, uh, the slide there, common grant writing mistakes and how to avoid them. And since this is coming from, from people who have the primary responsibility to respond to these proposals, uh, knowing what those mistakes are can often uh, help young investigators uh, avoid getting off on the wrong foot. The lessons that they've learned from their experience as grant as reviewers and how that has impacted their own grant writing. And then finally, the advice they would give to proposal writers to get a better uh, score from their panels. Uh, first of all, NSF. Uh, the following chart uh, is a five-year trend. Uh, you'll see uh, with each of those bar graphs. In the blue there, or the aqua color, are the total number of proposals coming in. And beginning in 2006, you see the number was in the 42, 44, 43, 45,000. And then uh, 2010, there was a big jump from 45,000 proposals to 55,000. And you'll see that the success rate went down considerably. The number of awards, as you go across on the orange, the number of awards stayed about the same with the exception of fiscal year 2009. And that's when the stimulus money was added to the uh, NSF budget, uh, another $3 billion, and gave them approximately 50% more money to allocate. And that's why the success rate, which had been uh, trugging along at 25, 26, 25%, jumped up to 32% in 2009. And now it's back down to a much more realistic and consistent 23%. And I think we can anticipate uh, if NSF's budget stays about the same and doesn't get cut too uh, badly in the current budget negotiations, somewhere between 23 and 25 percent uh, will continue to be the norm over the next couple of years. Uh, in terms of number of reviewers, uh, NSF reviewers in 2010, the number of folks serving on review panels, meaning they, they actually went to NSF headquarters and sat and met as a committee and, and interacted with each other, 15,500 people. Uh, approximately twice that number were people who didn't actually join a panel, but they were sent proposals and they reviewed, evaluated, and, and wrote up written comments uh, on, on proposals. That number was 30,500. And of that total, uh, there were 4,200 who served on both panels and mail reviewers, which means that the total number of NSF reviewers in 2010 was almost 42,000. And if you look at this bottom line there, 
Of that 42,000, 9,400 were brand new people. So th this tells you that each year NSF is looking for eight to 10,000 brand new reviewers, which opens up a lot of possibilities, and I'm going to comment on that later as we move through the presentation. Uh, now, what happens in the review panel? Okay.